For loop. A for loop is pretty much what you think it is. We can use it to tell a program where to start and where to stop. If we don't do that, we'll have an infinite loop that might crash your browser. You can also imagine for loops as a series of rules that repeat themselves, like looking for a good coffee place until a condition is met. You found it. Here's an example. Say you have to count to 100. Well, if you don't use a for loop, you'd have to write 100 times console log 1, console log 2, console log 3. Instead of manually typing in console.log 100 times, we can use a for loop to do this. Let's take the for loop apart. Variable i equals 0 tells the loop where to start. We could change that to whatever we want to. Then i is smaller than 100 tells the computer where to stop the loop, so it will keep running until that point. And i++ plus plus tells us how to increment, 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 an increase of some amount, like the cookies you're eating right now. You can increment up by 1 by writing i++, plus plus. decrement down by 1 by writing i-. Minus minus. You can also increment or decrement up or down by any value by writing, for example, or. And finally, the part between the brackets tells us to do something. In this case, to print the variable i on our console.